good to see you. I'm good. Good to have good you here. You. Thank you. Let's go Sarah off the bat. I, here I am standing on the side. I've quit my job. I've got five kids, and you tell everybody to put their phones away. That, that's my livelihood, right? Come on. So, just for an hour. Oh well, okay. I'm okay with that. But I will give you permission in a minute. I'm gonna override Mark for a second, and you can take your phones out and download the app because we're gonna use it here in a minute for uh, for Q and A. Cool. You gotta well, have the phones out. Well, I am uh, technologically challenged. So why don't you tell us? <laughs> Crowd mics, what a cool, uh, what a cool name. Tell Thank us you. what you do, what you're all about, and what you're going to yeah. do today. Yeah, so I mean, Crowd Mics is, uh, is an app that lets you use your phones as wireless microphones in, in any live event. This is the perfect scenario. 100 people in the room, you can talk to your phone and be heard over the sound system. No additional hardware, just, in fact, we're going to use my iPad for your device so you can manage it. And then we're going to use your phones as the microphones. Kind of fun. It also has a, a text commenting feature. I'm sure you're going to have some fun with that. And it also has a polling, so you can get a pulse on the crowd. We won't use the polling today, but we'll use the texting and the, and the voice for sure. How did this, how did this happen? What, <laughs> do you have a background in this business? No, well, so I've done, I, I've done what Kirk does. I've, I've sat behind sound boards for years. Um, but I've worked in tech companies and different things. Bottom line, I'm sitting next to my co-founder, who's also my brother, mm -hmm. uh, which is fun, right? Uh, actually, he, he was supposed to be here today. Uh, I guess he had more important things to do. I don't know. But, so we're sitting side by side in a meeting about this size, very interactive presenter, asking for questions and comments from the crowd, uh, but you just couldn't hear what the other people, the other person was saying. We were sitting on this side of the room, somebody's making a comment over here, there's no microphone, we just couldn't hear. So, so my brother Sean gets distracted, and he's kind of sitting there like this with his phone out, playing Angry Birds, I don't know, and, uh, and he kind of just shoots up, big eyes like this, like, Tim, I could FaceTime some guy you know, across the world in South Africa, Right? And hear him and see him just fine, but I can't hear the guy that's in the corner of the room. Why can't I just talk into my phone and, and be heard over the sound system? Uh, and so we thought, that's a simple idea. That's got to be, with a million apps in the App Store, that's got to be done. So I think I, I think I just heard $10, but go yeah, ahead. Yeah, I, I think I did. <laughs> they're, they're downloading crowd mics. Let, let them go, right? That's the sound it makes. Um, and so we, we looked for it for two months. We looked for this thing. This is about 18 months ago. And we just could not find a solution where I could download an app and talk into a sound system. So like any crazy entrepreneur, we just said, let's do it. Let's build it. And we have. Cool. Well, get, let's get going on this. I know you're uh, yeah, we, you wanting to show people what we got. Right. So we, we're going to try this for the Q&A. This is kind of the first time here at Mesa Morning Live. So you are allowed to take out your device. You can jump onto the CrowdMic's Wi-Fi. You'll see it uh, on your Wi-Fi settings. Jump onto CrowdMic's Wi-Fi and download the CrowdMic's app. It's free. It's both on Apple and Google you know, uh, Android phones. So go ahead and download it, jump onto the Wi-Fi, and then I'm right now, in the moment here, I'm gonna create the meeting that, uh, that Mark's gonna use. It's just called Mesa Morning Live. So what's gonna happen is, you're not gonna be able to see this, but uh, I thought about taking a picture up here. You know, show my, show my, uh, my tech nerdiness, but you're gonna see this, um, once you download the app, you'll see this meeting pop up, and you just wanna put in the passcode one, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three, now you're connected. In fact, let's test this out. Kirk, why don't you kill my mic? Kill this mic here on my, on my, my chest here. Just so what I can do is, if I'm chosen to speak, I can talk into my phone and be heard. When you talk, you have a touch and hold your screen and hold it close to your mouth. The top of the phone, by the way. So, give it a try. Give it a try. Uh, we, already have, we already have people jumping in. Dave, Brian, Vivian. This is going to be fun. So. Dave back there, my man. Uh, so if, if you'd like to speak, you're just going to hit that blue button. When Mark tells you, right, you're going to hit that blue button, and that's kind of like raising your hand. And then we'll go ahead and he can pass the microphones at light speed. It'll be fun. So, so what's the application business-wise? Who's, who's your customer? So we built this with the intention of using it at conferences. Uh, you can imagine, you know, breakout sessions makes a lot of sense, and, and it does, and that's for sure a client. But we found like training, kind of internal, you know, training meetings. I mean, you can imagine Crescent Crown here with 200 employees. Uh, perfect scenario for crowd mics. Um, school lecture halls has been kind of a, a lot of interest from professors who every day sit there in front of 300 students at ASU, and uh, nobody can be heard. Of course, they're not going to have a sound system for the students. Um, we've we've seen people use this in churches. Uh, we've seen we actually saw a guy use it in a tour bus. I mean, all over the place, all sorts of interesting uses for crowd mics, and, and we'll, we can work with any of them. So you, you handle a meeting from 20 people to 20,000? That's 
let's not push with 20,000. No, actually, no, it's funny, we'd, we'd, we were talking to some kind of larger sports venues, the idea being that you could be in the stadium, right, halftime, and they say, uh, Tim Holiday, you know, and you know, your phone lights up, you're in row 203,000, and, and uh, speak into your phone and be heard over this massive sound system. It'd be kind of fun. We, we hope to do that here soon. Very cool. All right, well, so what do you want to do? So uh, let's go ahead and try it out just for fun. We'll test it out right now. Um, and then we'll use this for the actual Q&A. So we've got text commenting. Uh, Forrest, hi, where are you at, my friend? Forrest uh, says hi here. So we, the text commenting's at the top of your screen. You can just type in a message and, uh, and send that through. And then the voice commenting's kind of fun. I'm gonna have Dave speak back there. So if I choose Dave, his device is gonna light up, it's gonna vibrate. You're gonna press and hold Dave and talk right into here. I can hear you. All right, and I can hear you. So that's the idea. Uh, and we're going to let Mark kind of manage this during the Q&A and, and see how tech savvy you are. Oh, well, that's, the, <laughs> don't go far. Yeah, the idea is to be very simple. It, it, it shouldn't be a problem. It'll be okay. fun. So you're talking about for when Chris and, and the yeah. other guests are up? Okay, yeah, let's, cool. give it a let's give it a try. So let me see the, the face of that right now so I can. Oh, wow. See people kind of pouring in there, got their comments already coming in. Of course. <laughs> Joey says, good luck, Mark. Thank you, Joey. <laughs> Appreciate the well-deserved confidence. <laughs> right. Uh, and what's cool is when I when I want to move people up the thing, I can just just swipe and delete. Just swipe it. So we had a we had a, a presenter use this at a conference in D.C. a few weeks ago. He had 120 people in the crowd, four panelists, and he was kind of the moderator. He decided not to prep the panelists with a single question, and he even didn't prep himself. He literally showed up, got crowd mic, got everybody on crowd mics, and just said, "I'm going to take every question from the audience." He found that the, the interaction was probably four times what it would have been, what, what, he, what he normally gets out of a crowd. Because not everybody wants to get on the mic, so there's a lot of texting, a lot of cool comments. He would just go in and kind of himself moderate, get down to the ones he wanted, yep. pose the question, and, and it worked great. People, like, yeah, they're already pouring in here. Yeah, look at it. Like Craig Henry says, this is very cool. And if you know Craig, that's, Thanks, a, Craig. that's a tough one. Uh, is, yeah. is he a tough one to He's to a please? tough audience. OK, OK. Oh, very cool. I like <laughs> yeah. it. So it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun to, to play with here for sure. All right, great. So don't, don't go too far. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be right over here just and in if case. if I have any questions or, now, if I want to get rid of this, for example, if I. Uh, you, you, can, you can turn the whole thing off just in the upper left corner. You can disable all text commenting. Um, and then with the microphones, you'll notice somebody wants to speak. You know, they, when they turn red there, you can choose them and, and kind of choose people. You can actually even delete people out of there okay. if you'd like as well. So. so if I just want to go back to and comments. Back to comments, yeah. And if I want to get rid of their comment, how do I do that? So just swipe it to the other way. Bam. Mm -hmm. And there you go. I got rid of the guy that was making fun of me. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. <laughs> awesome. All right, cool. And Thanks, we, Tim. Yeah, and, you know, th this is... We, we are local guys, born and raised in Sholo, Arizona, okay? Uh, been here for 14, 15 years, right down on Broadway and Gilbert. Um, we're, we're just excited to build this here. We, we launched this in February at a conference in, um, I, that might be one of the pictures from it, at a conference in, in Silicon Valley, right? The, the, the mecca of tech startups. And when we would tell people, quite frankly, when we would tell people, uh, you know, where, where we're from, the reaction was always, oh, oh, so you're trying to do a tech startup in Arizona can't be done. I mean, they, they really don't, they're, they're in Silicon Valley, they just don't think that it can be done here. And we are absolutely 100% committed to make it happen here. And so we're, we're going to build it here, we're going to hire here, we're going to raise money here, and, and we're going to build this thing right here in, in Mesa, Arizona. That's awesome. That's the plan. Well, let's, let's prove them all wrong, huh? What do you think? That's right. That's right. Thanks, Tim. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Thanks. Awesome.